love. Me? What? No, you. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know so uh, in the next clip you will hear me talking uh, and going over jobs opportunities extra things that the company does do um, the first company we're going to go over is standard bank very well known I'm going to give some guys some great information on there things that you didn't know hoping you learn something new they have tons of jobs almost 300 jobs that are hiring they just dropped these jobs just um the day yesterday i think the day that i put the video out was the dot was the pretty much the day that it was dropping online for people to apply i did have a recruiter to come and contact me and let me know that standard bank is applying so what i would like for you guys to do is to go through hey listen if you're about that life you're about that life there are 300 jobs there are almost 300 jobs posted there i'm sure you'll find what you're looking for you just have to go through and look through them and take that time and make the application. Um, this will be a two-part video because this video was extremely long because there's so much the Standard Bank does and offers and so many different opportunities that you could do. I did not go through every single one of the jobs, but I went through a few of them, but I went through other opportunities that they have going on. I even went through a scholarship program that they have um, and some other goodies that they offer as well. And I just wanted to take the time and help my fellow South African family. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, comments, and once you do your application, um, you can feel free to reach out to me. I will probably answer you a couple few uh, questions, and I will probably, um, you know, get your information uh, even more looked at um, in the hiring process uh, if you have all the qualifications that they're looking for. Um, yeah, there is a uh, agency that is also working with the bank. Um, that's also uh, helping out in the hiring process. I would go more over that particular part of the uh, steps, etc. in the next video because this video was very detailed and I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. And thanks again. And it's been a pleasure. Your girl, Fabulous Farah. And I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy. Next clip rolling in to um, basically uh, talk about. I hate doing this, but we're going to do it just this one time. Y'all, I don't like accepting cookies, but whatever. Do what you're going to do with your boat. So, we're going to talk about this company, which is well known. And you guys see it on the page here. It is Standard Bank, okay? Standard Bank, okay? So, you're going to go to Standard Bank. You see you guys up there? Um, standardbank.co.za. And then once you get there, you want to just stroll all the way down. And, you know, this company is very well known. You guys already know it. But just for those who don't know it, any outsiders, et cetera, et cetera, um, you know, they do insurance, bank account, need a loan, travel assistance, need a car, need to save, yada, 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 open uh, a MyMo account. And then it's got the newsletter you can subscribe to. And you can get information about old drafts, banking app, personal loans, gold credit card, and you swipe to the left. Uh, it gives you more about foreign exchange, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, see all credit cards and buy your first home, build your first homes, insure your home, insure your home loan. And so, um, so they definitely do it all. Uh, credit cards for business. Um, help you manage your credit for business and for those of us that are black Americans who are also tuning in just to see what goes down in the SA this particular um, showdown is ready for the South Africans even though they did say they will take application from anyone but I really want to show my South African family these jobs here um, I had an HR recruiter that reached out to me let me know they was definitely hiring wanting people to come and check them out um, so there you go but uh, yes, this might feel very similar to America, you know, the seeing that they have credit cards for businesses, um, et cetera, et cetera. kind of makes you like, what? They got that for business? Can I make, it throws it out there. Insurance business, um, home buying tips for first timers. And then 
uh, want to buy a pre-owned car, here you go. Credit cards for your business and then so on for your insure your business, etc. Um, and it's just going over. So it's kind of the same uh, packaging as we have in America from credit to business credit and loans, etc. South Africa does allow you to have those things. So the for the black Americans who are tuning in, um, yes, it, it they do have um, some um, sort of funding, funding that you can obtain in South Africa. Um, but just for those who are just like, what? Um, who are used to more of a cash-based system in other parts of Africa, I know that you know, hearing these type of words or like what? So just an idea, quick quick hash. You know what I mean? So quick hash, you won't be so lost. Um personal loans, you see what they do here. Um if you need to you know, this is something that, you know, once you get settled and, you know, build that uh credit uh in South Africa you can do home loans, um, pensions and people are like, wow they have pensions. Yeah, they have pensions 401k, all this stuff, vehicle financing, student loans, and so forth. Um, so I, you know, work with people as far as in, um, you know, understanding your business and what you can do there. But since we were going through this, here you go. Um, there's other additional numbers, but what we're trying to get to. Uh, child, what was it? I must have. Uh, let me go back. So here, um, talking to you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to where I was going. <laughs> Work with us. You want to say view opportunities. There you go. Says with your passion for progress, rise and grow with a career at Standard Bank. Um, and so it gives you everybody kind of knows Standard Bank, but everybody, and for those of us who don't know, they're very big. Uh, they're in different parts of Africa as well. All right, so what we're going to do here is if you want to check out their promise to you, you can do that on the Find More. Uh, footprint. Um, let's just click on that so that you know. I can just give it a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, I'm in bad connection here, so you know. Mm-hmm. Connecting you in Africa to the world. So making a positive impact. They're in Angola. Uh, said we're proud to have an African footprint and look and we are looking for driven exceptional people like you to accelerate our organization and our continent's growth uh, they have you know in Gola they've been there for 11 years they have Botswana they have Cote d'Ivoire DRC Eswati Ghana, Kenya, Lesotho, Malawi, Mauritius, Mozambique, Nambia, Nigeria, South Africa. Oops, and they've been there for 158 years, baby. I never heard of that. Jersey. Hmm. Okay, and the UAE, United Kingdom, and the U- United States. They was in the United States for 53 years. So they definitely have some pull. Uh, they have a phone number here for the locals, 0860-109-075, international. You can see the international number here. Uh, <clears throat> again, you're free to come back to this page and play a little bit more around i'm just giving a little context to this bank um to you know give those who are not familiar um i recommend actually you know coming in person uh but as far as in with um just 
Um, and here's the address they here. Simmons Street, Johannesburg, they have there. Uh, you can see an email. I'm pretty sure it's be like a little link or something like that. But um, you're welcome to come back and you guys can play a little bit more. Um, they have investor relations that you can do here. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> they have the app that you get on Google Play, Apple Store, and the app gallery. So um, let's go to the view opportunities because we can be on here um, forever with all the things that they do offer. And I definitely uh, encourage you guys who are learning and relocating to South Africa to um, to take a look at their um, their portfolio as far as what they offer and things that they do. So um, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do. Uh, now <clears throat> here it says our career errors. Um, you can go in by bit by bit. Again, you can say accept all cookies. You have business and commercial clients. You have client solutions. And on the business commercial clients, by the way, is uh, it's a comprehensive banking solution. Uh, we address the needs of small to medium sized enterprises, SMEs, and commercial banking clients. Then you have client solutions. It's for innovative, open architect solution across the our organization. This team is helping us move beyond traditional financial services and then they have the consumer and high network clients for individuals and families we provide banking and wealth management solutions including insurance investment and advisory and then they have the corporate and investment banking um which is you know basically they're saying we we'll unlock africa's potential through uh proactive client partnerships that deliver relevant solutions to large multinational and institutional clients and then you can do more they even have specialist um, functions enabling our business so brand and marketing those who are interested in particular sectors this does kind of break it down by sector and tabs and compliance they have compliance um, which is a real competitive advantage for us for advertising training monitoring reporting this team makes sure we are doing the right business in the right way and then those who are in engineering, driving force transformation to a digital platform led organization, working in partnership with some of the world's biggest tech companies. And those who are, have more finance background, you have finance and value management, and which is helping to set corporate and digital transformation plans. And we can go on and on. And then they have the group risk and corporate affairs. And they basically are giving you a little history about what is not history, but a little tip tap taboo, I wouldn't call it, um, for uh, management of emerging risk to strategic stakeholders relations that protect and strengthen our brand. And you got more of the innovation. So they have many and they got, you know, internal audit in here, legal, um, people and culture. And then they have some feature jobs here. This is a cloud engineer from Linux. And it's also, of course, it's going to be in engineering. And this is going to be, of course, in Johannesburg, junior cloud engineering. Uh, that's full time in Johannesburg. Uh, and then, so there's a lot of engineering, an analyst, sales force, engineering, consultant sales. So um, let me see what consultant sales is, because that seems like for some people who are like, eh, I don't have a lot of engineering background. Maybe we can look at this. This was just posted on June 27th. Um, it's basically just, you know, what you would think it's probably is, but it's more of a, um, a base level. So that's why I clicked on it. And I'm going to try to find things that are base level and high level for those who are having various backgrounds. And it's to sell products in an outbound contact center in accordance. So it looks like it's a call center base with the uh, business needs to facilitate the development of customer loyalty through the customer management and to consistently portray professional image. So basically you're working in a call center and you're making sales. So I had to break that down. There's some basic qualifications they have here. Uh, they have completed metric. It's like some of the things that we kind of do in America, um, but they have a different abbreviation for it. So it's a full FAIS, short-term insurance qualification. 
uh, you're supposed to complete the regulatory examination five, and then they're asking for one year sales experience in a contact center environment. So basically, one year sales experience in the call center, um, short term and long term experience, or short term experience only, um, which is kind of contradict each other, but okay. Um, additional information. Um, you need to be able to handle pressure, resource oriented, um, behavior contemporaries, uh, technical so computer uh, computer literacy. So I think most jobs are asking you computer literacy. Now, if you get down here, you will see. Eh, uh, if you have anybody there saying that you know ask you for money, you report them there. Um, they're there. And then they have a number for you can get in touch, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. And if you want to apply to this job, let's say you wanted to, let's just, just hypothetically go into applying. It says you can even apply with Indeed. Uh, you can even apply with Smartra, and you put in your information here, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not going to do it because I'm, you know, not going to physically apply. But if you had a different comp uh, country you're applying from, they have all the countries here. You just go down and select your country. Blah, 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 blah. And this is what we're going to do here. And if I was doing United States, I would have blah, 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 I don't know if they let me do it. Let me see some. Let me see some. I'm just gonna throw some out there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to make sure it didn't keep saying involved. No job be called. Yeah. That's all right, my LinkedIn. And then on here it adds you for you know you add your experiences. You just click the add buddy. Yada yada yada. And you, if you currently work there, same thing with education, you click the add button and yada, yada, yada. And there you go. So you have your LinkedIn. Uh, if you want to, you know, add your LinkedIn hyperlinks in here, your Facebook. I don't recommend people add your Facebook on here because you obviously have some walls off on your Facebook, but okay. Um, <laughs> Twitter, same thing. If you want to add your Twitter handler, you know, I wouldn't recommend adding Facebook and Twitter on here. But if you want to add your LinkedIn, that would be the most professional one to add. But if you want to add all that other one for your uh, your Facebook and Twitter, just make sure you guys are like with professional on there. No illegit matter because it will stand out and it could cause you to not to the job. So um, now you want to upload what they call resume um, in South Africa. I believe it's called um, or something else. If you have a CRT, something like that. Um, but you guys have a different term for it and I just went blank on it. So you just upload it here. And uh, then, you know, here is just giving you a reason. This is basically saying, why should we hire you? Uh, you want to give your best foot and your best impression about yourself. Always keep this very professional, straight to the point, and highlight key important um, parts that you think you can bring to the table as it relates to the job function. So I know this particular job that we was originally applying for is the sales um you know, opportunity, right, at the contact center or sales agent for a call center, uh, better yet. So since you're applying for a sales job, I would include things that I've done in the past relating to a job similar to this. So if I was doing sales, I'll be like saying I was number one sales agent for blah, blah, blah company, or I was just number one sales agent uh, for a contact center before I was able to provide team leadership. I excelled in uh, team orientation or organizational skills. Um, I um, won different awards. I'm, I'm looking to join you guys team to bring my skills that I have achieved in previous position and add and grow the team as a team. I'm just freestyling. Y'all can do your own freestyle. But... <laughs> You get this thing, you take what you have and tell them how you want to take what you've done before and apply it to this company. Just as long as it's, I would think it relates to the job function, you know, um, 
you know, easy going, put something like that in there, um, can handle pressure and stress well because cells is about pressure and stress, okay? So if you have something already set up with Indeed or Smart Trends, you can also do that. Let me go on back. And if you just want to save this job and go for later, you can do that. It lets me save the job. Okay? But my thing is, you know what I'm saying? These jobs are hiring now. Um, if you want to, you know, save it, you just are risking that this job could be fulfilled by someone else. So keep that in mind uh, when you want to skip. So uh, if you want to join the international team, just said join international team. Um, you can go down and hit that join button just as I did. I didn't kind of <laughs> explain myself before. Uh, this is basically, again, I said rise and grow with career at Standard Bank Group. Um, just give me a little bit of uh, background. They're passionate, driven, sustainable, um, growth across Africa. Um, their, their growth will make a positive, lasting impact on all our lives and put Africa and dreams and our clients' dreams and our people's dreams at the heart of everything we do. Okay, so that's, you know, basically the punchline there. Um, you can hit there. And then you can always go down here and, you know, go from bro, back to back, back. I did hear the international link, and I'm just kind of um, was curious, as y'all know. I'm working here. Let's, hit, let's go to the top and hit our jobs. Where's that? Boom, boom, boom. Did I pass it? Did, it, did I pass it? Boom, did, did I pass it? Yes, I did. Okay. And they even had graduate programs, so early careers. So, graduate programs here that I just saw. Um, leadership. So, if you're looking for internships and et cetera, uh, you can go here and learn more about the internships, and we'll go back to the scholarships. Like I said, this this company offers a lot. We can spend like hours going through this. Uh, for those of you who have not even known that they did this, this is good for you to know. If internship on your future with a uh, standard bank group internship. All right, let me get to the meaty gritty of this. This is an internship with standard bank group and gives you the opportunity to gain valuable workplace experience with the foundation of your uh you know qualification your start contributing from the moment you join as you get involved with real projects and have every chance to develop and grow uh, once you've completed your internship your process process highly in demand skills and qualifications so you'll be able to own your career potential and apply for the role of your dreams join an internship program and it's not just your future you have a positive effect on You'll be a part of the journey to create better tomorrows for everyone across Africa. How cool that is. Okay, so what can I, what can you expect? Okay, so you choose from the number of marketing leadership, leading internships offering between 12 to 24 months. So that's a roughly about a year to two years. Fixed term employment. You receive monthly, monthly stipend, which is like a monthly, like money that you receive a month. Plus, uh, invaluable coaching and monitoring while you're studying for your qualification. This is perfect for someone going to school and different backgrounds such as finance or banking. Uh, so your fixed term employment with Standard Bank Group as of 12, 12, 12, 18, 24 months. So it's 12, 18, or 24 months. So you can do any one of three. So your monthly statement, performance rewards, you have benefits that go along with that, certification specific to the skills being built on a program, practical, meaningful workplace experience, coaching and monitoring. So, and it has the programs they have here, uh, universal, uh, prestige, enterprise, banker. Uh-oh, clicked too fast. This program is designed to help you gain valuable work experience and customer interactions, transactional banking with high focus on sales. The qualification level, you must have three years finance-related qualification. Uh, next intake is this year, 2022. So they have an intake going on this year. It doesn't give a date, so they do have a this year. So if you got this qualification, 
I would definitely reach out and try to apply for that if you can, if you want to get in on that. Um, this is now the next one. It's a behavior economics 12-month program. Um, this is at Standard Bank Group, and which uses behavior insight to help us better understand our clients so we can deliver more of what they want in need while shaping and influence their behavior. In this program, you will gain unrivaled knowledge of this ever-involving field work across several functions to discover how it applied throughout the bank. All right, the qualification level and honors or master's in psychology, industrial psychology, economics, neuroscience, or cognitive science. Uh, the intake of this one was April 2022. Now, I don't know if that's the start date of the intake or if it closes at April 2022. So it might be still open. It might open up in April and it hasn't closed out because I don't know if that's a start date or the close date. But it says intake, so that normally means start. So uh, it won't help. You never know until you ask, right? So I definitely would still reach out if you're interested in that and you meet the qualifications. Um, so this is Standard Trust Tax Internship, which is a 24-month program. It's a 24-month program. Again, you are going to be paid while going through this internship. So just FYI. This internship is designed to develop uh, special tax skills as it relates to these seats estates and trust so like when people pass away etc their estates and trust the 24-month program includes a formal certificate at a first graduate level with accredited training provider um, the qualification they want you to have a BCom, which is i think it's a bachelor's in communications if i'm not mistaken uh honors specializing in tax the next take-in is next year 2023 so if you're looking for this and you have a BCom degree um yeah i would definitely put this on your radar because you'll definitely be ahead of time it's gonna be next year and next year is already just a few months away so it's like around the corner so next one will be the legal internship which is a 24 month program this internship is designed to give you value insight into both litigation and transactional law within the banking environment as well as help establish your legal mind as a corporate lawyer so um this is pretty cool. Qualification is the LLB or LLM in graduate. So if you have that type of degree in the graduate field, um, this is better be great for you. Your work experience must recently serve their articles and are about to become a mid attorney. So you're about like on the verge of being an attorney. And they should be able to demonstrate legal skills, experience in the following areas, banking, finance and services, general corporate and re structuring and liquidations litigation digital and technology and their next intake will be 2023 again if you're into this and you have these qualifications you definitely be ahead of the wave because this is next year remind you next year is just a few months away so don't don't play okay and if you are ready to apply for any of these uh, in, uh interns you can just hit this blue button here that says apply uh 22 2022 applications open from april 1 1st to july 8th so the ones they're saying from this year like which i was trying to figure out earlier had opened in april and they closed at on the july 8th so they've already closed but however you know now you know for the ones that are open up for next year and i'm sure these rules will open again for next year as well uh if you have questions you can go down to the frequently asked questions there's questions here like how can i apply to open worlds while i'm on a program if you're already in um it's saying that if you want to know if you get offered a permanent position with the company the answer of course i would like to know to myself it says no interns need to follow the recruitment process and apply for a permanent position through the standard bank group career website based on the current opportunities available uh, you might end up meeting somebody that might you know see you standing out and but you probably still will have to apply but at least you know you got that you know internal relationship that you know they might you know see your application and know who you are type of thing um so says the standard break exists with further my studies it's a not while competing in an internship program you should be placed in a pl permanent role and you can apply for a bursary if you wish to continue studying hmm, interesting so they kind of kind of do if you are in a permanent role that's what i'm getting from that but there are several questions on here uh, do you consider grade 12 students uh, no internship or office individuals who have postgraduate 12 metric 
qualifications. Um, so, so obviously it kind of answers. What can I expect as a salary? Because everybody want to get straight to the money. So let me go get straight to the money. Interns earn a monthly stipend rather than a salary. This is an allowance which allows you to travel to and from the workplace or training institution. It's in line with the National Minimum Wage Act 9 of 2018 in MWA. And it's determined by the cost of complacency of the program. So it's a mixture. So the you, so basically what they're saying here, you'll basically get the at least the minimum wage, but it might fluctuate uh, through the complexity of the program. So I'm thinking the higher paced programs or the higher up programs or the higher degree programs may pay a little bit more. So, okay, so that was a little bit on an internship. Let's go back, 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 back. Um, they got uh, learnerships, which I'm actually interested in to know more about that myself. Because I know we have internship. That was a learning ship. Um, is that like a another former internship? We're about to find out if my phone let me go to the next page. Okay, learning ship. Mm-hmm. Being driven to achieve with standard bank learnership. We believe in the power of young people to drive the future of Africa. That's why we are committed to investing in individuals like you so you can grow. Okay, the progress and take ownership of your tomorrow and have a legacy for generations to come. With Standard Bank Group Learnership, that's exactly what you'll do. Earning while you learn. You will be supported to develop your skills and reach your goals and be inspired to work towards better. Okay, this is what is basically you're going to get to meaty greedy here through a work based approach. To learning, you'll gain real-world understanding of understanding of Standard Bank Group as you guide it and support it to achieve the goals you set yourself. The program integrates practical and theory and includes both structured work and experience in structured learning with an accelerated training provider, leading to an SAQA accreditation accredited <laughs> qualification. And we're working to grow potential for young people throughout Africa with Standard Bank Group Learnership. Yours could know no limit. Yours could know no limit. I'm trying to write that Yours could know no I don't know what they mean by that. It's crazy. Um, anyways, moving right along. What you can expect. You can choose from a number of learnerships offered between 12 to 24 months. So it's basically one to two years, a fixed term employment. You receive monthly stipend plus invaluable coaching and monitoring while you're studying for your qualification. The fixed term employment with bank with the bank for 12 or 18 to 24 months, depending on the program. Monthly stipend, same thing. And so it's basically kind of the same thing as the internship, but Seems like it'll be different. Let's see what's, what's really different about it. Performance awards and benefits, the SAQA accredited qualification, practical, meaningful workforce, um, workplace experience, coaching, and monitoring. Who can qualify? You can qual- apply for a standard bank group leadership if you have completed grade 12. So those of you who will have completed grade 12, um, or who just completed grade 12, this is perfect for you. The internship said that you have to hire, have um, higher than grade 12, like post-grad type of thing. This one is for those who completed grade 12. So if you don't have post-graduate you know, graduate degrees, but you completed grade 12, this would be a good fit for you. So you, I like this. So if you, don't have, if, you can, if you can't do internship because you don't have the education to that level just yet, then leadership, learnership is going to be a better fit for you. So that's great. They offer another uh, way for you to get started with the company and still make some money. Okay, that's pretty cool. So for grade 12 people and above, uh, or you have a three-year post-grad, you know, et cetera, et cetera, um, that's cool. That, that, that might be, that's pretty cool. Uh, you apply. To apply, you must be a South African citizen, okay? Be between the ages of 18 to 30, Able to speak, read, and write English, have completed grade 12 metric or three year grade, three year post grade 12 metric qualification role dependent. Be computer literate, which I think most people are nowadays. Uh, not be permanent employed, so you can't already have a full time job somewhere else. 
So, if, you know, if you go to these interviews and you got your little side hustle, shut it up. <laughs> not be studying another uh, tutoring institution and not be registered for any other learnerships. Okay. So, you, I guess you can only have one learnership at a time. So, just learning about this. It says application will open between April 1st to July 8th. Uh, so, again, you want to go down here and find out when the next time they're open. Um, they got data science, which is 24 months. And it's just good information to know until next year because it looks like they close on July 8th. But it's always good to know for next time around. Wholesale clients operation 12-month program. Okay. It doesn't have, like, I, one thing about these, it doesn't have, like, a qualification. So, I'm guessing if you just got the uh, grade 12 in there, it looks like um, you can just go in and, and maybe go in and, and apply for these because it doesn't have a qualification like the other ones. Um, this is more of a call center, universal banker, get hands on in the call center environment, client solutions, learning ship. Okay. Corporate functions, learning ship. This is 24 month program. Oh, this is pretty good. Uh, internal auditing you can learn things like that it's basically you know coming in this is pretty cool sales course 18 month program this program you gain both theory, uh, theoretical knowledge and practical experience while working closely with the leaning thinkers around the future of banking platform business hmm cloud computing 18 month data engineering 18 month oh that's nice Okay. And again, uh, of course, they uh, was talking about this. Okay, maybe I heard that wrong. This is it. So different ones are different things because it's saying here and that says there uh, so it might be different addition but here it said qualifications said um that you need to complete grade 12 or a three-year post so i'm thinking that the, this q a just standard to in general but i think the uh the learnership is going to you know, be able to sell people with grade 12 because that's what it says. So we're going to roll with what it says. All right. To dun, 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 dun. And they have graduate programs. And we can just be on. See how this company offers like a lot of things in here. And we can be on here forever and ever. So they got graduate programs in client solutions, customer high net worth, corporate investment, engineering, you know. And again, so. It did say it opened in 2022. The application was open between April 1st to July 8th. If you are a graduate person in any of those fields, I will just say this is great to come in here and apply. It looks like for here you need to create a portal um, and then select my profile. And then if you're a first time visitor, you would do to tell me more to create the smart recruiters profile. Complete your profile. And then once you upload the supporting documents, uh, you can apply for your preferred early careers program, do the interviews, assessments, offer or decline. Yeah, so this is pretty cool thing to kind of come in here for those of you who want to get ahead of the wave for next year. Um, this is a cool thing to do. Come in here and uh, get yourself there. Now, man. Here's the uh, scholarships. So our international scholarship gives future African leaders an opportunity to pursue a postgraduate master's in one of our partner UK universities. Hmm. So they partner with UK universities. I feel people going over just jobs and I don't got into <laughs> I knew when I get into this one it was gonna be complex. I was saying like, uh I wanted to get to the neat meet and greet of everything, but you really can't just skip over just good information and not just miss it. Just like mention it a little bit to you guys. Like it's kind of hard for me just be like, okay, we're well, gonna skip over all this good stuff 
you know, and I just feel some kind of way. So I knew this was going to be a very thick and a meat, meaty, greedy one because um, we can be on here forever. Um, yeah, so I will probably do a part two for the business side of it because this is just getting just getting to the meet and greet of the job is more complex because they ha offer so much stuff. And I knew that about this company from the get go. And that's why I wanted to do this one on one. Okay, be after breasts and with Standard Bank Group Scholarship. Uh, and they give information on the background says founded in 2013. The scholarship aims to offer both educational enrichment and international exposure to the next generation of African talent. Through the scholarship, we aim to create a network of African leaders who will influence, champion Africa's development and sustainability, and exercise global influence through the visionary leadership. Our scholarship gives scholars the opportunity to pursue a postgraduate master's degree in one of the UK's top universities, such as Oxford. We got that over here too, uh, Cambridge, <laughs> or the LSE. And a completion of your studies, you'll become a member of the Standard Bank African Africa's Chairman Scholarship Alumni Network, which brings together professional activists and thinkers who share the passion. For Africa's well-being and success, future leaders to be proud of. That sounds really cool. That sounds really, really, really cool. And then you got this nice welcoming letter. And then we're going to get to the meaty greedy. Who can I pull out? The Chairman Scholarship is available for two, two students who demonstrate exceptional academic merit and a passion towards developing Africa. To apply, you must meet the following. Must the following criteria. Be a graduate student who lives in and is a national of one of the Standard Bank African operating countries. Demonstrate a exceptional academic track record. Have successfully qualified on your own merit in your application for a one-year master's program at either the University of Oxford, Cambridge, or the LSE. Be intellectually outstanding and entrepreneur and demonstrate a natural capacity for business and leadership across disciplines and relevant to growth and sustaining Africa. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so they kind of break down the studies you can do at Oxford, Afri uh, MSc to African Studies, MSc Education and Digital and Social Change. MSc Injury Systems, MSc Environmental Change and Management, MSc of Financial and Economics, MSc of Mathematical and Computer, uh, compu <laughs> computer Functions, <laughs> Computer National Finance. Come, dog it. You just, computers? Come on. It's, so in America, we just call it computer finance. <laughs> Oh, MSc of Sustainable Urban Development. And then for the London School of Economics and Political Science. See, they got more opportunity. So, hello. Oh, I don't know why that went to my head. Okay, MSc Environmental Economics and Climate Change. MSc of Public Management and Governance. MSc of Finance. MSc of Risk and Finance. MSc of Finance and Private Equity. MSc of Real Estate Economics and Finance. MSc of Law and Accounting. MSc of Economics and Management. MSc of Management Information System and Digital Innovation. MSc of Management and Strategy. MSc of Financial Mathematics. MSc of Economics and Philosophy. MSc of Environment and Development. MSc of Behavior Science, MSc of Data Science, MSc of Social Innovation and Entrepreneurship, MSc of Local Economic Development, MSc of Organization and Development, MSc of Accounting and Finance, MSc of Global Health and Policy, MSc of Health and Policy and Planning and Financing. Now, I don't think it's pronounced MSc is how I'm pronouncing, but you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get it today, okay? <laughs> All right, and then we are going down to University of Cambridge. So, um, yeah, they have more. We can be on here forever. Like, like this is you. If for those of you who want to get into this, um, you definitely could come back uh, and get more into that. What I want to do is, um, if you want more information, click on the Standard Bank USA. I mean, it's, uh, South Africa and investor relations. Yep. 
I guess I click on this one. That's why I knew we had this other part two in here. And I knew I couldn't not just go straight into jobs without just keeping it into, you know, just to this. Um, the bursaries is a finance your future with Standard Bank bursary fund. Uh, nothing should stop you from achieving your goals. You sh- you have set yourself with passion about giving every young person the opportunity to thrive. Uh, we're going to get to the meet and greet of this. Who can apply? Who can qualify? Stand the Bank Group Bursary is available if you require funding for your first, second, or third, or final year of undergraduate studies, as well as if you want to pursue a postgraduate studies up to master's level. To apply, you must be as first a South African citizen, have achieved an average of 65% and above in the latest examination mid-year to June, be registered for full-time undergraduate or postgraduate studies, meet the admissions requirements of your university if applying for a postgraduate bursary. To qualify, you should be well-rounded academically with strong performance in any of the following fields. Strong performances in accounting, actual science. I want they call what is what would that could be called in America? Actual, huh? actual science, huh? huh? That's different wording for us. Okay, so we don't really have that wording, but I'm pretty sure we have something similar to that. Uh, but everything else we do have, so it kind of caught my eye. Uh, analytics, commerce, computer and data science, economics, engineering, finance, information technology, investment, mathematics, and statistics. We have all of that. Okay. Um, yeah, so they have evaluation, and then if you want to apply, you would click here to here to have access to study trust and the book great bursary fund and follow the link to the online application. Uh, it was open, which I get to the media reading. The 2023 bursary application season opened April 2022. Oh, it's still open, you guys. So, those of you who are trying to apply for the bursary fund, it is still open for next year. Uh, so this is the application that you submit now will be for next year for the 2023 and you guys have up until this uh, the 30th of September so you got like almost a month and a half or so something like that well almost two months right yeah where we at no you got about no nah, that's right no you got a month <laughs> I'm tripping <laughs> you got a month so um, so you still got 30 days to apply you guys so that's if you want to get in on that get in on that uh, inquiries may be directed to Susan Dube, Dube at uh, Susan Dube at standardbank at dot co dot ca. So boom, 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 boom. You still apply? Come on, get that money, y'all. Get that, get the, get the, get that money. That's still open, honey. Get that money. Let's go to jobs because we will be here forever. Looking at all this great stuff that they offer. Fulfill your promise, baby. <laughs> Y'all, it's late. So, you know what I mean? For me, you know, early, late, it's the same thing. So, consultant and claims. So, let's click on that one. So, they looks like they have 263 job openings. Um, I knew that they had over 100 jobs that they were trying to fulfill because the recruiter did reach out to me and say, Hey, we have 100, over 100 jobs that we're trying to fill um, and we need some help. So, um, they are hiring you guys. Uh, so, consultant claims, okay, uh, this is in Roport, uh, full-time, and it was posted just the other day, y'all, just yesterday almost, uh, 8-26-2022, that's a fresh job that they just posted, I mean, they must have just, went, I think that's when they even called me and said, hey, we are hiring, um, so anyways, qualifications, okay, uh, job description, let's get that first. To ensure effective and efficient resolution to, of the corporate and commercial claims and related account payments by adhering to the identified process, procedures, standards, and exercise appropriate discretion, ensure delivery with the agree SLA and TATs of the assigned portfolio by effectively engaging with all relevant stakeholders. Okay. Qualification metric. Required commercial insurance qualifications. Relevant to the FAIS qualification in Category 1, Commercial Lines, RE5, Representatives Pass, 4 Years Commercial Claims, required Experience Required, 
should have a broad, solid, technical understanding of corporate and commercial policy, warnings and claims, and you should have a technical background on motor claims and repairs. Okay, so this sounds more like an insurance. So from American looking at this, to us, this sounds like an insurance thing, like a customer service call center insurance where we do claims for, uh, for look like they're going to do for cars. So this is more like a claim claim customer uh claim service debts or claim uh, representative for uh for more for motor vehicles that's what this reminds me of um anyways additional information behavior contingencies you need to be providing insight competing tasks making decisions understanding people examining information technical contingencies claims knowledge insurance principles insurance products and service underwriting management See, I was just telling someone that sometimes I notice about NSA jobs, ours is separated a little bit different. Sometimes they have two jobs in one. So underwriting and claims, we would have somebody working claims and underwriting would be underwriting. So um, that was kind of interesting that they had both of that together. Um, yeah, but if you have those uh, qualifications, Again, you would hit the apply button. We just showed you how to apply like before. And if you need to save, you can save that job. Um, and we're going to go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Yeah, I'm not trying to sing. I'm just joking. Analyst support system, software engineering, consultant, client experience. Um, things that I feel like are interesting to me, I will be clicking on just for, I'm just going to click on a few jobs here and here, here and there. Um, just to get, you guys need to get on here. Because a lot of these jobs just dropped yesterday. They did call me when I posted this. I think I even posted this before they even dropped the jobs online. Consultant Client Experience, OSTX2. I'll write it, write it, write This is a whole time. I'll write it, write it, write it, write it, write it. All right, job description. Contribute towards delivery against GM client targets by providing high-quality operational service and support to more experienced team members in line with client requirements. A qualification, business commerce, IT, finance, or relevant discipline. So if you have those backgrounds, this is definitely for you. Global markets, client management. Okay, one or two years of basic understanding of asset classes, product and service, client sectors, marketed trends. Okay. This is a little bit of project management to me. Mm. Client experience, yeah, be digital, one, two, basic understanding, knowledge of digital transformation. This is like a data analyst type job. Work with science, technology. Like, again, guys, when I'm reading this, I'm reading the, the qualifications, and you guys can sign and read along with me. Um, it kind of like for me, the wording and the breakdown for certain roles as an American is we would put this under a certain job description. So it's interesting. Business enablement. One to use the base understanding of products and channel capabilities and financiers. Acquire through experience and client facing roles such as operations, service, client. Is this kind of like a hashtag operations management with a little bit of Dallas analyst, a little bit? Hey, interesting. interesting. So they have marketed and market analysts. This is more like a, that's what I thought. A data analyst is more like a data analyst. Okay, okay. So that is your job if you have those um uh doesn't say anything degree wise or anything um uh what particular degree you need to have but it does talk about experience so if you do have these experience um you do want to get on this and apply it immediately Damn fool. Okay. Uh, okay. Manager, client. Okay. So a lot of these, um, 
a lot of these jobs um, did drop just the other day. Let's see when this one dropped. It dropped. Yep, this dropped on 826. So these jobs are very fresh. Ooh, this one's in Dar es Salaam. Hey, if you're trying to get out of SA, Dar es Salaam. They're asking for three to four years client risk experience. That actually is degree green business commerce and financial and accounting. That might be the actual degree that they're looking for. Because in the American, you can have business commerce like actual experience, and then there's business commerce degree. So that kind of threw me off. Overall, eight years combined experience. All right, we you got your your technical and behavior competencies. Uh. So a lot of these jobs did um, um, drop just the other day. Um, now, listen. Just because, and they have the location Durban, Johannesburg, Johannesburg. Now, just because you see something that you know. You're like, I'm looking for something that's more entry level. They could have an entry level. Chad, there's almost 300 jobs posted on this site. And majority of them dropped just the other day. So you never know until you just take that time out and say, you know, how bad do you want it? You know what I mean? Um, if you're looking for something that might be more tailored to what you have and what you don't have, I wouldn't count it out when you haven't looked that through the 300 jobs that they just posted yesterday. The good news, they just posted a lot of these jobs just yesterday. So if you have any of these uh, qualifications, um, please do apply. They are looking for people. Um, if you have any comment, questions, uh, or concerns, you can always reach out to me. I do have um, some contact information. Um, I can, you know, but I'm not going to. They want you to apply first, you know what I mean? And there are some, um, I'm going to have to do two page, two parts of this one. Um, because I need to go over the, um, there's an agency that's also working with Standard Bank that's also um, hiring. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So we did their part banker. That was in Durban. Java developer. Manager, change in product, analyst, future develop office, hmm. engineering, corporate and business tax specialist, engineering. Still in Bosch. Okay. And again, it's almost 300 jobs on here. And I'm just going to kind of go through and click. Like I say, most of the jobs just drop, you guys, like 825, 826. They just dropped out a day. I know they did. You know what I mean? So this one was requiring a diploma in business commerce. Um, they also want five to seven years experience with the FAIS qualification. And then here's your contemporaries. Uh, Okay. Um. I'm just gonna click on a few. They have so many of them, and most of them just dropped it a day. Um, I went through a few other ones, and the one that I went through, I'm gonna see it. Um, just because it was interesting. They have uh, manager of home loans, foreclosure, technical t, uh, technical lead, self force, technical lead. Um, head for credit evaluation. Those of you guys who got division experience, you should definitely um, have another consultant claims. I think it's going to probably require the same thing. Mm hmm.
account analyst, universal banker. Like, they have so many. Um, I'm going to skip to three. Cloud engineer, consultant, on call. I'm going to click on that in just a second. Hmm. Operation health and safety. Like they are almost hiring for every single department. Specialist for training in it. What is this about? It's pretty much high for just about every. Yeah, no, this requires a bachelor's degree in risk management, eight years of corporate experience. So, uh, we have that in the combination of that. Um, man, this, they have so many jobs. I want to be able to just kind of briefly kind of click on them. Again, this is um, one of these sites that you just have to kind of go on. Again, they have over like. 300 jobs on here and you know almost 300 jobs on here and if you want you just have to take your time majority of all these jobs just dropped yesterday and the day before yesterday so if you're truly interested and you're determined I will just be getting on here trying to find what fits me baby I don't care if I had to go through all 300 jobs you feel me that's what I would do to get that bag, baby. I will be getting that bag, okay? Baby, that's what I will be doing. And to get that bag, baby. Okay. Alright. Alright. So let's talk about this chokka. But it's chokka. So specialist at the directory. Alright. This is like it's in Johannesburg, Semi Street. Okay. It's in the engineering department. Uh, provision, reporting, and site analysts for a portfolio across multiple products and or segments across the credit life cycle. Hmm. In order to inform business decision making and strategy formulation to enable the business to access and interpret records and dashboards to efficiently and effectively utilize the available reporting tools to drive the automation of relevant product and reports to ensure efficiency, accuracy of reports. Qualification and types of qualification. First degree. Field of study. Information st- studies. Experience required. Technology. AI. Cognitive computing. Robotics and innovation. Mm. Experience required. Five to seven years. This will require at least seven years of experience in customer data and information life cycle within standard of BI technology and practice. This experience must include management of a team as well as the implementation of large scale products. And additional information. This is for people who have those contemporaries. I'm starting to start to like this kind of feel kind of good feel kind of good feel kind of good all right but you guys they have jobs in just about every department's what I noticed um some of the stuff I actually missed the first time I was just kind of breathing through so I'm like hmm I see that like that again when I first clicked on this link I just kind of thought it out I was like oh they do a lot oh they do a lot and I just kind of hit a couple links like okay we're good to go and I had you know got my information and kind of just ran with it but you guys need to like really get on here and um, yeah, play around and look through. There's 300 jobs on here. Unfortunately, I don't have that time to sit here to go through every last single one of almost 300 jobs on here. But if you definitely are looking and trying to get out that thing, I would encourage you to sit on here and go through each and those one jobs until you found something that you can actually apply for. You never know unless you try. You never know unless you try. And they're hiring all over. You know what I mean? You never know unless you try. So, yeah. Yeah. What's the one I just saw? Team leader, team leader. Looking for team leader. Hmm. Hmm. 
payments in there. And yes, it's so they only have a few on each page, but again, they have almost 300 listed on here. So that is what you guys want to get into. It definitely has a lot on here. And man, we haven't even got to that stuff. Um, we use somebody saying if one gets an investor relations. Yeah, definitely. Um, now this, I need to come back to this on another day because we'll be here forever. Let me just go back to you. Because we would definitely be here forever. Like, forever, forever. Like, you guys would be like, what? And you can always um, hit the search now. And uh, search in particular categories, you know. But, yeah. They definitely have a lot. I'm going to have to do two parts because there are other things I want to talk about. And I really don't want to, um, I really don't want to, um, you know, um, you know, kind of like, I want to kind of get into the job so those who are wanting to apply can access this video and get right to it. Um, and I don't want to make it too lengthy um, because I don't want um, people to, you know, if you come in, I kind of advertise this as a job thing, so I want to kind of stick for what I advertise it as. Yeah, so let me go see what we offer. What we offer. Mm -mm. Together we'll make it possible. At Stanley Bank Group, we're bringing all kinds of ambitions to life. We harness Africa's limitless potential for growth and help build the best lives across the continent, continent, across our continent. And for you, we'll work together to develop and champion your career so you can become the best you can be. Join us while we transfer our business. That little video you can watch. Let's watch this cool video. A lot has changed since we first opened our doors. Technology is accelerating at an extraordinary rate. And our clients are expecting us to keep up, to step up. It's no longer enough to just be a bank. We need to do more. We need to be more. And today we accelerate that journey. Using powerful technology and human insight. We are building a platform business that will help our clients like never before. A platform that will connect them to the right people at the right time and give them access to everything they need before they even need it. A platform that will enable us to provide solutions that won't just help them financially, but serve them holistically because our clients need more than money to make their dreams come true. They need a whole new way of thinking. By doing this, we're going to transform everything our business stands for, and you're going to transform their lives. Because from today, you help make dreams possible. So embark on this journey with us as we move into the future, as we actually drive this continent's growth, and don't just say it, as we turn it can be into a promise. Because Africa's possible starts here. Africa's possible starts with you. Standard Bank, it can be. Nice. Okay, that's nice of you. Drive growth with us. Um, right. Help us make a positive difference. Okay, now this is what I wanted to get into right here. Uplifting communities, our people contribute to the success and well-being of the communities we serve. We help to empower and uplift the complete and the global economy, economy and harness the opportunity of the fourth industrial revolution. 
Africa needs to access quality education and ongoing skills training. So our corporate social investment, SCSI, is more than intervention in communities and is an integral part of our business. Our CSI focus in South Africa is education, especially in early childhood development, ECD foundation phase education with future skills development. In addition, we create opportunities for employees to volunteer their time, skills, and resources to nonprofit organizations, enable them to become actively involved in our communities. We're also reducing inequality by making financial products and service available to all. We help drive growth and opportunities by partnering with local businesses and sponsoring communities, sports, and the arts. In fact, we're proud to be the leading sponsor of arts in South Africa and have helped shape the unique cultural identity for the African continent. That's pretty cool. And if you want to read more about it, they have little hyperlinks on there. You can ba 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 ba. I'm telling you, like, we can be on here for hour. It's, they talk about equality, uh, basically committing to, you know, non discrimination uh, or being biased, et cetera, et cetera. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. But here we are. I think it's a Oh, I hate on the early careers. So I'm talking about the internship. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get to the early guys. So. so I'm gonna hit it one more game. Y'all better bring that tell it to tell it to tell it to tell it to tell it up. I'll definitely have my coffee this morning, guys. <laughs> Baby, it's a Saturday and I'm up here trying to uh, <laughs> talk to you guys about some doggone, uh, you know, um, some doggone jobs. On a Saturday ball. Okay. So, there you go. Lots of chops in SA and lots of chops. Okay, so we definitely hit on a lot. Um, I do need to make a part two to this so that I, I just want the, the people who are, you know, actually looking for jobs be able to come in and access them. I'm trying to click on it. Hold on, Playboy. Why is it not coming up, Playboy? Okay, I'm gonna get you on a second round because I said you're gonna be stubborn. You don't wanna come up. Okay, okay. Anyways, I wanted the people who are interested in getting into um, to the job market, you know, quick and access straight to what they need to know. Uh, so I know sometimes when you're looking for um, jobs, you wanna get straight to it. You know what I mean? You wanna get straight to it. You wanna get to the meat and the greet tea of it. So, um, yeah. So there we go. You guys need to come on up in here. It gives you a little bit more you know, experience. Uh, for those that's, that's, that are new to Standard Bank, it's worth in South Africa. Here's some more breakdown of it. They've been there for 159 years. They've been over uh, 20 African countries that they operate in. They have currently 49,000 uh, employees worldwide. Uh, and they've been 52 years on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Stock Exchange. And I want to get into the stock market, but, you know, and talk to you guys about that. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, that's going to be on the next thing because I want to, we're going to close this out. And I just want to get people uh, in the opportunity to, to get to the information they need to get to and so that we don't take from their time. And knowing what they need to get, but uh, this is basically going to be it. And then my next part will be other things that Standard Bank does, and we're going to talk more into that. All right. And if you guys have any questions, comments, please do ask them. 
Um, once you make your application and you want to, you know, kind of get further in the process or just have some general inquiries about the process, I do have some connections with this particular bank. Um, you can, I will probably ask you a couple of questions and then we'll probably sort you out to a, a actual recruiter. I do have a part two of this because there is a, uh, an agency, a recruitment agency that actually works with the bank as well that are also happening with applications as well. So that's going to be my part two. But if for those you need to apply through the, the website, go ahead and get yourself started. And then I'll come back with part two and we can kind of go ahead and challenge you on up in the process. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. And as you'll. Girl, girl, you know what I'm saying? We are a family, and I will see you next week. <laughs>